Hello, Thrivers! How are you guys doing today? It's great to see you. Hope you're all here. We're, we're going to have a really great time today. We are joined today by Manuela Senatore. She's the founder and creative director of Skiller Productions. She's a one-stop video services company based in Brooklyn, New York. And what I like about her is that her fascination with visuals began in her native Italy. And just that line by itself lets you know that she's got this eye for beauty. So while she was studying the great masters of paintings and sculptures and the Renaissance, you know, she started really getting involved in the, the visuals of that and how her interpretation of it. And if you see any of her work, you'll see it in there. You'll see that masterfulness in there reflected all over the place. Yeah, you know, she's, she's just too cool. So I could say a hundred other things about her, but I want her to tell you about her. So welcome and thank you for doing this with us so that the drivers can hear a cool story. Thank you so much for inviting me and uh, hello everyone. Uh, as uh, he was kindly saying, my name is Manuela Senatore and uh, I founded Skilla Productions uh, about four years ago. And <laughs> I work mostly with uh, small businesses to create video content that improve sales and marketing strategies. Um, after working with uh, the first businesses, we realized that just producing beautiful video isn't really enough if you are caring as an entrepreneur for return of, of in, on investment. You need to couple uh, good production or great production value with uh, marketing strategies, with uh, a strategy on how to place that content. So I started to work with uh, other digital marketers, uh, copywriters, people that were experts in field that I'm not expert to come up with strategies that can help the content that is produced to really generate results for these businesses. Because everybody knows that video uh, achieves attention, achieves higher emotions, there's more perceived value in the asset that you create. There's clarity because video couples not only vision but sound and a lot of people are visual and a lot of people don't like to read. But on top of all these things, you have to know how to use these superpowers. You actually need <laughs> to, <laughs> that the power that you wield has to have uh, the right has to pick the right battles, so, so to say. And yeah, it's a, it's a learning curve. And I feel like very often, and it's a, a saying that I've borrowed by, by some mentors is that uh, we are like somewhat video warriors that uh, along with the business owners, we are in the same battlefield to try to see what type of content can create the best results. For awesome. Awesome, awesome. So, you know, here at Red Sapiens, we're interested in one thing. And the thing that we're interested in is the journey of the entrepreneur, right? So you're a woman-owned business, you're rocking and rolling, you're crushing it in Brooklyn. How did you get here? <laughs> well, I, it's very exciting for a woman to be uh, an entrepreneur. And in fact, the numbers are uh, indicative. It's it's now a time where there are more than 8 million uh, businesses in the country. I think it's 8.3 owned by women. So that's impressive. And I, we see also that in general, uh, in the movie industry and in a lot of other industries, uh, women are perceived more and more as top leaders. And so that's a very uh, exciting thing to be part of that battle. Um, the reason why I started my own business is because like, women and men both, we, I wanted to couple my passion for visual storytelling with an income, making a living, doing something that I really love to do. And I have been obsessed with uh, visual storytelling for at least the last 10 years since the beginning of digital revolution. And little by little, I was working with uh, crews of people, partners, uh, filmmakers. And if, if at first it was the typical 
producing content for passion. And then it became more and more how we do it more strategically and like have a purpose. How do we serve the community that we live in? So that's one aspect. And then there's the other aspect of I, I like to learn different trades. And uh, I think when you're in the early stages of your business, you are to be very creative because you have to master so many aspects of your business. You have to like master marketing, you have to master accounting, you have to master human resources, you have to master the legal aspects. Because at the beginning, when the scale is small, there's no one else is going to do it for you. Or you have to like really set up the way you want your business to be. Yeah. So that also is something that I love. And uh, again, the other thing I think it's related to being a woman is the fact that I didn't um, want to just fit in the culture of a company that I was working in. I just wanted to create a culture that would fit my lifestyle that, you know, would allow me to live the way I want to live and also help the values that. So, um, so just so I get it, so you were working at a company and yeah. then what happened? one day you woke up and then what happened? <laughs> no, it's been, a, it's been a gradual process. Like I, I started to create content so that I could have my portfolio and body of work and I could approach the first client. I was already working in communications in the nonprofit sector. Uh, and therefore, I had a sensitivity for like communicating a message that achieves a result. And I think it's combining the visual aspect and the targeting message aspect of it that convinced me that could be an opportunity in doing this. And of course, being in New York City, because New York City is a place where you don't necessarily have to have a lot of uh, overhead costs to start this type of business. It's not like being in a, in a very small town where you would have to get all, acquire all the infrastructure and all the equipment in order to be independent. But here in New York, we have in Brooklyn, in Manhattan, there are so many places where you can rent equipment. There are so many talented people that you can collaborate with. And so you can place, I think myself mostly as a producer director, where depending on the project and the type of uh, message that we are trying to, or strategy that we're trying to implement, we find the specialist that is good for that. Because some companies that have activities outdoors might need a specialist in like drone uh, camera operations and then you provide that type of, of, of asset or uh, some other company might need a stop in motion so you need an animator for that it's very difficult for one person to combine everything uh, therefore you have to like leverage your uh, alliances and, and the network of filmmakers to come together and create a good product and also you, you create business for them like they can create it for me. <laughs> so you started building your portfolio and then little by little, you started getting clients kind of like on the side and then you made the swing. How yeah, uh, you know, you have to get to a place where you have enough resources because of course it's not that uh, there is a, a starting stage where you have to acquire clients if you have to build trust you probably have to do special offers that have to be very limited in time and very defined. You don't want to be associated with always having special offers. But if you want to uh, break through in a new market or in a new type of customers, then you, you might have to do that. So you need, uh, you need a caution so that at first, when there are going to be the initial setbacks, you're not going to be crushed and just have to give up and go back to the nine to five. You have to create right. that type of, um, at least I would say a year or at least minimum six months. Buffer. Yeah. You got to have a buffer. Good. Yeah. Buffer is the right word. Now, how, how, was yeah. it, how was it in here? Cause there's, there's in here, right. But then in here, it's a different animal, right? You're, you go from, oh my God, the security, I have the security and safety over here with this job. And then you jump in with both feet and now you don't have that anymore. How was that? It's a very scary process. Uh, you also have to uh, find uh, your allies, uh, the people that are closest to you. Uh, 
you have those, sometimes those are the most difficult to convince, believe it or not, because they're the ones that are going to pay the consequences and therefore um, they're not trusting you or they're going to be tired to like handle most of the bills for a while. Uh, like in my case, I don't have children, but I have uh, several pets and my, my partner is really hoping that the success becomes more and more so that I can take care of, you know, of the, of your responsibility. You know, the growing family. It's like for everyone, I guess. Um, but on the other hand, if you convince your family, then you also convince yourself. It gives you a lot of, uh, I think, uh, it makes you like more tough, more, more solid in, in your convictions. Uh, I think it, it's exciting though to be a provider because back in the days, uh, everybody had to just go out every day and just come up with the, you know, the, the yield of the day. <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't eat. It's yeah. probably something that for us is more natural to do. Not for everybody. It's not for everybody, but there is some kind of... I think it's very difficult to imagine a life of like 20 years, always like nine to five or 40 years, nine to five. And it is not the direction where the market is going because it's true that in New York, it's probably more, more prevalent, but it is a tendency of the market. That I, I read that 40% of the workforce in the not too, too uh, far from now, it is going to be made of freelancers. So we all better learn how to sell our services, how to be of help, mostly because you have to care about the customers that you work along with. It's not that it's just trying to convince. You really have to care that what you do makes a difference. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Good. So first, I just want to, and, and this is how I really feel in, in my heart, okay? And so, because it's, it's difficult sometimes for people to understand what I'm about to say. I want to thank you for your bravery of what it takes to be an entrepreneur that you jumped into that pot because it takes real bravery, real courage, it, like to do it. It does. <laughs> you can stay, a lot of people stand at the edge and then they run away. But it's the people like you, that's why we exist. That's why we're in business. It's for the people like you, because we love you. Because we know what it takes to be you. So it's so... <laughs> it's, it's awesome. So, yeah, it's really awesome. So thank you for doing that. Now, to all our thrivers out there who are listening out in Facebook world and wherever they're listening from, because this might show up in other places, this month, what we're focused on is growth. How do you grow? How do you grow? How do you grow? So from your unique perspective as a videographer, as a video marketer, as a, you know, just a, an artist, what is the advice that you have for the drivers that are out there? What should they be doing what should they be focusing on this month as they focus on their growth? Uh, I think there are three areas. Uh, one, I would say it is the collaborations. And uh, I think they're just recently also uh, come up with a term that is uh, uh, collaboration or like collaborate with competition. Coopetition. Yes, uh, I found that that is uh, a very good uh, advice uh, coming out, uh, coming from a state of mind that there is an abundance of business to be made. And, that, you know, you want to be uh, knowing, especially all the people that are doing similar things to what you're doing so that when you are not the right fit for that business, you can always be of help and giving advice, giving value so even if you're not closing that deal, then people will remember about you that you are the source that can help them in, in, in a different capacity. So you need to have a good network of uh, businesses that do the same thing that you do that you can just 100%. leverage uh, for like different projects and learn also because you can see how they do things. You can be become better at what you do. You can just put yourself in question. 
Uh, you also probably, uh, what is the third aspect that I would say, uh, have networking, uh, but networking with the right people, more with people that are a step ahead of you. Like if you are in a certain business, there are like influencers that are trying to do different things that are exploring. So you can be inspired by that, not just simply by the things that they do, but by that way of thinking and approaching reality of being creative. So always be inspired because without that spark of wanting to like try something new, then I think, you know, you, you just cannot, you can only just go back and just become smaller. There's no just staying the same in business. <laughs> so in order to grow, you have to be uh, doing what other people, not having that mentality of like seeing, exploring, exploring. Yes. And, um, and then the other thing, it's like, if you are a solo entrepreneur, you also have to take care of, of yourself, of your mental uh, balance, like try to be a person that has a, a good life balance because especially business can be very overwhelming and sometimes you sacrifice other things that are very important in life because with the nine to five, it's true that relatively uh, a lot of people, they, they do extra hours, but like when you're your, your own boss, then you, you definitely can work 24 seven and other things in your life can pay the price and then all of a sudden find yourself that all the other area they're not having that balance and they don't give you that peace of mind that you need in order for you to be in control peace of mind uh eating well being healthy it's and it's something that if you are a big business then you have to promote it for your team as well it's very important i think very very good excellent 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 so Great. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, everything that you said, we could probably have a one hour conversation about each one of those topics because they're all so important. And, uh, but that last one really hit home, right? Because that's the one that everybody, they start grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding and they forget that there's like this whole other life. Right. So one of the things that we find that's crucial is that you have to put all that other stuff on your calendar. Yeah. If you don't put it onto your calendar, it's almost like it doesn't exist. So you have to carve the time out and say, this time I'm going to do this, this time I'm going to do that, this time I'm going to do this. I'm going to go with my kids here. I'm going to do this here. I'm going to feed my pets or go take them for a walk or whatever it is that you're going to do. You've got to put that time in or time with your significant other in. So it's very cool what you said. I love everything that you said, right? Thank you. Yeah, they experimented on, you know, myself as I move on. In, in this. Awesome. That's, that's really what it, you couldn't have said it better. We, we, exper we keep experimenting with ourselves as entrepreneurs, right? So exactly. The, the last piece is... How do people get a hold of you? Now that we've heard how awesome you are and what your journey's been and all this great advice that you have, how do they get a hold of you so that they can do awesome? Okay. So hire at skillandproductions.com. And is there a phone number? Yes. Uh, you can just tell me what's that number? 646-673-3015. Excellent. All right. So that's 646 373-646-733-3015. So make sure that if you need some video production, that you reach out and be in communication. And uh, with that said, I just really want to thank you for coming on today. And thank, thank you for sharing your experience. I look forward to seeing you in the driver's group. Uh, today is a great day to put a discount promotion for, <laughs> for the Thrivers and the Thrivers group. So Fridays is when we post all our promotions and we post all our things. Anybody that's a member of that group can post their promotions on Fridays. So I hope to see you there today. And uh, to you and to all of you out there, remember you are loved. <laughs> it's <Right>? true. <laughs> Good, so we'll see.